to get started. Hey guys, it's Carl and today I'm out on the St. Clair River chasing around some walleyes. I don't need any for the freezer today so this guy gets lucky and goes back but what an awesome way to get started. at all what we're after today. Look at this. I thought I had a good one, but got a sucker in the snow. Yes, yes, yes. Another good one. That's a big fish. Again, he's lucky he gets to go back in, but what a great fish. <laughs> yeah. I guess I kind of deserve that one. That was a big one, spawned out female, already done its job and as soon as I set the hook I knew that was a good fish, it's just like, ooh, oh yeah, big fish. I'm sure there's bigger ones though. Still looking for my double digit walleye, I've never caught a double digit walleye, so this is the time of year it could be done. So I just broke off a bait, so I gotta tie up a new jig here. So I really like these heads from the real method. That's not the color I'm gonna use, but those are the heads I really, really like. I'm going to use a Angler's Choice. This is my favorite where I'm supposed to use in the spring, is the Wonder Bread Ice. That's Wonder Bread Ice Worm. Angler's Choice Spear Tail Worm. So I'm just gonna thread that on the head, make it nice and straight. Oh. Like so. And then the trailer hook. So I do tie up my own trailer hooks. I tie up a whole bunch of them at a time. So you can see I got a bunch here. So I'll just grab one of these and I just put the loop over the hook, pull it tight and it just cinches down tight. And then I, I like to, I know a lot of guys like free swinging treble hooks, stinger hooks, but I don't. I like to bury it right in the back of the worm there. So. That's what I like right there. I tie that to a fluorocarbon leader. I really like fluorocarbon in this clear water. I'm using a 14 pound test fluorocarbon uh, leader. And for rod, I've got a seven foot uh, 13 fishing fate black. And I really do like these long rods for picking up line on, on, uh, on the hook set. And uh, this is a medium heavy, so it's got enough beef to handle these bigger jig heads like that. Really like this rod. Not an expensive rod at all, but super sensitive and can handle these heavier weights. So yeah, really liking that. Of course, braided line on there. So got to get it back down there. Missing some bites, I bet. Thing for stinger hooks, you'd miss a lot of these fish. Again, just a perfect eater. Like, that's a beautiful eating fish right there. So much fun. I love, just love walleye jigging. So much fun. It's still good to get out in the spring.
again. <laughs> Jig popped off already. I think I had him foul hooked anyways, but man, if I was keeping them, these are perfect. I was really hoping to catch some big spawners, but today it's all these little males, so. I cannot catch a big one today, but I can catch lots of little ones. I know it's a the, everything was early this year, and probably a lot of the, the fish are done spawning. A lot of the bigger fish, I did lose a couple big fish today, and they did look like spawned out females. It's like they're all done spawning, but yeah, just another another quality walleye. And I'm having a lot of fun today. Oh, there he goes. Well, at least I'm getting bit pretty good. It's kind of fun, but the. They're not really bunched up. You kind of, usually in the spring, you find big schools of them or pods of fish here and there. But today, all I'm finding is a fish here, fish there. I mean, it's a general area. They are scattered over this one drift. But again, when I when I see a fish on the graph or when I hook a fish, it, it's not like they're all together. It's like a fish here and a fish there, and you know, they're all spread out. It's not they're not really clumped together, which I find really weird. But anyways, as long as you cover enough water, you get you get bit. I guess I'm gonna have to end it there. That's unfortunate. I'm just starting to get into them really good, but I don't have a lot of time today and I have to leave, which is really unfortunate because it's a beautiful day. I'm catching walleyes. I was hoping to get some big spawners, but all I'm getting is little males that are messing up my boat. But yeah, another beautiful eater size if you needed them. I've got some in the freezer, so again, I don't need any, but yeah, beautiful fish. What a great afternoon. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick little video and I hope you'll check out all my other St. Clair River videos like this, but yeah, jigging season's just getting started here. I'm sure I'm gonna be out a whole lot more this season. So look forward to some more videos coming out. I'm looking forward to getting out a whole lot more. It was been a pretty lame winter. There's really no ice to speak of. I got ice fishing one time. So it feels really, really good to get back out fishing, back on the water jigging. So yeah, again, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you subscribe and I hope I'll see you in the next one.